Hi, so this is the Microsoft wireless display adapter. Um, this one is version 2. This is the successor to the previous version called the wireless display adapter version 1.0, which I'm showing you here. And pretty much what these do, um, uh, you know, if you have a Windows 8.1 or higher uh, device, uh, so like you know, a laptop or a tablet. Um, uh, you can stream wirelessly multimedia, so that's full sound and video, to a large screen television set or even to a projector, right? And um, you know when Microsoft launched the first one, um, you know they said that this makes a great companion for the their Surface Pro uh, line of uh, tablets that run you know the Windows 8.1 all the way up to Windows 10, as well as the Surface Book as well, right? But it doesn't just have to be the Surface line. Once it's a you know Windows PC that has that Windows operating system on there, again Windows 8.1 or higher, uh, you can use these to stream. So one great use case is if you're in a hotel room and you are a road warrior. You know we always have those large flat screen TVs in the hotel rooms, and you know why would you want to spend the night peering over a small 13 inch screen on your laptop when you can just simply hook one of these into the back of the t television set. Right, you pretty much just plug this into the HDMI port on the TV, then you plug this into the USB port in the back of the TV. And all modern TVs do have these ports on the back. Um, and this is just to provide the power to the dongle so it works. You can stream instantly from your, you know, from your device onto that screen. So now you have a second screen in your hotel room. Uh, another great use case as well. Anybody who does presentations uh, and you have to work with projectors. You know, it kind of sucks when you have to like spend minutes trying to you know work with messy cables to connect your your laptop to the projector. Why just you know eliminate the cables, put this into the projector's HDMI port, and this to the projector's USB port, and you can stream your presentation wirelessly and instantly to your projector. All right, so those are a couple of cool use cases. Um, a couple others as well. I mean, if you want to stream video games. Um, you know, why play a video game on a small screen when you have like a large, say, 60 or 70 inch television set in your living room? Again, you plug these in and then you have a super screen, right? Um, so yeah, there's a lot of great things you can do with this and it makes, this, this is definitely a great companion uh, for anyone who, you know, I just gave three examples, but, um, you know, it's a really, really great companion to have. Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's really talk about this one. So this is version 1.0 and this is version 2 so the main difference between the two there's two main differences one obviously is as you can see immediately just by the picture alone you know this is larger so version 1.0 is definitely larger than version 2 and um, there is supposed to be a major improvement in the latency so this newer version is supposed to be much faster so so by latency all that means is you know whatever you see on the on your your you know, originating device, or like your laptop, if there's movies, or if you're, you know, whatever animation you see on that. On the version 1.0 um, dongle, there was a little bit of a lag, so you can actually see there's a delay between, for example, when you uh, say typed a word on or a letter on your main screen. Uh, if you're mirroring that screen on the via this on the the big screen TV, there was actually a delay. Um, between when you press, you know, say type the word now on this and see it on the TV. So this definitely increases the the speed. It's faster, so different lower latency, and it's a smaller form factor. So that's the main difference. So um, they're both equally pretty good. I mean, I mean, if you don't mind the latency, you still get the, they still have these on the market. But uh, right now, these are the new the new ones that are out. So let's just put this one aside and let's take this out of the box so we can get a create a look at it. And then what we can do is just compare the two side by side, um, so you can really see what I'm talking about. Um, let me see, take this out. Whoa, look at that. So let's just take this out of the box, so it's presented nicely. here and um, nothing else just some 
paper rare. And we have um, some more stuff through there, and nothing else in the box. So here we have the surface, I guess, cleaning and usage instructions. And manufacturer's information, and then a nice simple little. I guess it comes in multiple languages here. I'm looking at this thing. Uh, this is French, and uh, this is English, and they're just simple instructions on how to set this up and pair to an external screen. So here is what it looks like. So these little things here are just for protect just to protect your device when you're not using it so this is a little uh, little cover so what you can see on this it's two little two so it's gone from one big dongle so here's a version 1.0 so the version of what was one long dongle right and I've put it in, into two smaller ones now I can think of one great reason why now imagine you know so, some TVs have the USB these uh, HDMI ports right on the back so if your TV is actually close to a wall you're gonna have to find at least a clearance of this much at least you know uh, to get into the back of the television right and then even so it, it's gonna be it's dangerous because you can easily if you forget that this is behind the television and then you push the TV back against the wall this could potentially bend and then break you can actually break off the connection on, on the HDMI board which could damage your TV right um, so you know, having a shorter, having a shorter connection into the back of your TV. So here's the HDMI port on the version two. You know, you definitely reduce that those issues, right? So that's really good. So again, this is the version one, and they both have the same port. So as I said, the version one, you have your HDMI port here, and here's your USB power input um, plug. On the version two, you have the same HDMI port here and you also have your USB charging uh, port here so it's the same same ports it's just uh, they just changed the form factor so what they've given us here is um, an extender for your USB connection um, and the reason they've done that in version 1 they just had a long cable which was good enough um, because don't forget on most TVs on some TVs you may have a case where the uh, HDMI port is not very close to the USB port so you know you need that you need to actually have that enough play that you can actually if it's far away you can connect you know still connect your USB and power your your device um, so I mean this there's enough length here right but what they've done is given us additional additional length um, here so I can just plug, plug, plug this in here and actually have more length so what they've done is given us more of a clearance um, when compared to version 1.0 because here we let me just compare the two here see from here and the version 2 gives you a little bit more clearance so you know you don't have to worry about oh I cannot connect my USB plug into the TV because it's too far away from my HDMI port you don't get that issue with this it's, it's longer right and then when you're so you don't may not need to use this because as I said lots of TVs do have the HDMI and USB ports very close together but you may have a case where that's not so eh anyway, so you can then when you're not using it you just store it away and it looks really nice like that in your bag easy to store um, less potential to damage it when it's like that with the version 1.0 there's no way to store these two you just they have to I guess pretty much just roll the wire up and put it in your bag and it looks a little unsightly and, and all that so anyway so here's version 2.0 with the USB extender here's version 1.0 right and so let's just um, quickly summarize so this aesthetics purposes this is you know version 1.0 it's it's one long dongle what they've done they've split that pretty much into two pieces um and um which makes it easier to you know when you you know when you want to connect to the back of your television you don't have this long thing sticking out you can you have something shorter um 
and then yeah version 1.0 had a long cable but I guess it wasn't long enough in some for some television sets so what they've done they've given us this extender to give you more uh, of a of a reach if you need to connect to a USB port on the back of your TV that's really far away from the HDMI port and of course from an electronics perspective there is you know better electronics in here in the version 2 to reduce your latency when you're connecting to your external television okay so let's put the version 1 away and I just want to summarize the uh, um, to summarize the, the version 2.0 wireless display adapter so it's uh, you know these are what you call Miracast enabled HDMI dongles and you pair these uh, you know use these to pair uh, a mobile device with an external screen um, and we talked about a couple of use cases. One, the hotel room television set. Um, another one is if you want to stream movies or games to a large screen television set. And then if you want to use an overhead projector, you know, there's no need for messy wires or anything like that. Now, the version 2.0 has better latency than version 1.0. Um, and version 2 is also what you call Intel WD certified so it's intel widi certified so there's a certification badge that comes with this so all the, that the intel weedy certification badge means is that this is um, a wireless display technology that was developed by intel right so it's just saying hey intel developed this wireless display um, technology now the distance um as far as you know how far can your portable device be from your television set or projector when you're you know um, um, streaming wirelessly and it's rated to work up to 23 feet or 7 meters which is a pretty decent distance and um, this retails for about uh, $50 US um, now I do have a link at the bottom of this page where you can get these off of Amazon um, so go check it out so that's it guys version 1.0 and here's version 2. Version 2 comes with some additional knickknacks. So this is version 1, here's version 2, here's an extender for the uh, um, USB uh, connector, and here's a nice little um, cover to protect your, your, your dongle when not in use. Okay guys! Hope you enjoyed that video you guys take it easy bye bye so i hope you enjoyed that video now i'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave one there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com when you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways. And by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples, there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And of course, the newsletter will have you know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day.